Hey, this is Nick Del Toro with Muscle Roulette. Today I'm doing back with Josh Bryant. Hey, this is Josh Bryant here at Destination Dallas. If you don't know me, Google me. We're here for a back workout today with Nick. Nick's still warming up, but things are about to get heavy here. Not only are we gonna build him physically today, we're gonna build his testicular fortitude. So what we did, is we started off with deadlifts. Okay, good old fashioned deadlifts, but we did a little kicker in there. 405 times eight was when he was like 22. Okay, so today what we did is with the 425. Prior to the set, what we did is we did an isometric pull. So what he did is he pulled the bar against the pins as hard as he can. What that does is that allows you to produce 15% more force than you can maximally on a concentric or upward portion of the lift. So we wait a couple minutes, and then he goes into his deadlift, he did 425. Five is good, six is damn good, seven's excellent, three, we're gonna end the workout and drop Nick off at Planet Fitness. Come on. Yeah, one, two, boom. Yeah. All 425 on the deadlift for eight reps. What the So with gains, like the ones that are gonna be the most, um, have the most significant growth potential, if you're not training this way, you're leaving that on the table. If you're a bodybuilder, you can't just worship the almighty pump and expect to grow. The same token, you can't just do what we just did, like powerlifting type of stuff, and expect to grow. It's gonna be a synergistic blend of both, uh, and we attacked that today, so we did a holistic type of workout today. Started off there, went on to snatch grip deadlifts. I have never done snatch grip. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this feels tomorrow. With the snatch grip deadlift, the wider grip forces you to increase recruitment of your upper back muscles, traps, and even rear delts, making one of the most effective width building exercises for bodybuilding. This is the kind of strength that can get you ready for the bodybuilding stage, the powerlifting stage, the Chippendale stage, or working as a bouncer at the nudie club when someone harasses the girls on the stage and throw them out. We went on to uh, a superset, okay, that consisted of the eccentric seated rows. You did concentric with two arms, then you do the eccentric with one arm, for a five count. You have to maximize and train eccentrics hard if you want to maximize muscular development. That's an area a lot of bodybuilders are leaving a lot on the table by not doing any sort of eccentric overload work. Say, you know, both hands together, you can do 100%, you can probably do 70% of that with one arm. So if you don't eccentrically overload like we're talking about, you're never gonna get that. Because even if you do like a, a five count negative with both arms, it's still not the same as doing way more load than you actually handle. Okay, next we superseded that with the, the Cobra lat pull down. You know, muscle under stretch is muscle under tension, muscle under tension is gonna grow. You wanna keep a pronated grip, and you drive down with the elbow to your hips how you think of it. I've never gotten such an intense stretch in the lat and then an intense contraction in the back. Went on to one of our bread and butter neutral grip pull-ups to run weight. First set with 30 pounds. Nick got a few reps there and went to his body weight after that for the next couple sets because he was so fatigued at that point. But hey, he's still getting something out of it at that point. It's not an unsafe movement like doing a deadlift when you're super tired and you know your form breaks down. 
So anyways, what we supersetted that with is with a T3 race. So if you go to the, the dive bar, walk in with the pump and pose kind of bodybuilder, doesn't have any strength. You're gonna have predators from all around come up harassing them and like this and that. You go to the same dive bar with a real lifter with that developed back, people aren't gonna know whether to share one they're watching, they're just gonna be buying you beers probably. Find me online, you can uh, go to my website, Instagram, I have a bunch of books up on Amazon, so just type my name on Amazon, Josh Bryant. I have an author's page and I have uh, 10 books up there. It was six of which have been number one sellers. Stay gas station ready. This is Nick Del Toro here with Tina Nguyen, aka the Swole Mulan, or the Grudge.